So we've got a question. We've got time for a question from the floor. Where's my independent picker? <laughs> Annie. I know that Jesus Gamboa raised his hand earlier. Question for both of you. I would like to know of the plan we have to make the Democratic Party actually colorless. I am hearing all tonight that we're going to make it darker color, and it's all fine with me because I want to be elected to. But I want to know how we're going to make it colorless, and that will include genderless, and, but mainly colorless. How are we going to include all our skin colors into the new Democratic Party? Yeah. I actually don't believe that we want to make it colorless. I believe that we want to see all of the beautiful diversity that California has to offer. Um, I think it's important, especially as the Democratic Party, which claims the mantle of being the party of diversity, the party of people of color, the party of the LGBTQ community, the party of women, the party of our Native Americans, the party of young people, the party... If we are going to claim that mantle, then we really need to ensure that everything that we do is in that spirit. And so I don't think that we, we become colorless. I think that we embrace that diversity and we showcase that in everything that we do. Uh, every single aspect of this party should look like California. And so ensuring that we have all of the beautiful colors uh, and all of the beautiful genders and all of the beautiful diversity that makes California great uh, is incredibly important. And as the next chair of this party, you can ensure that my administration, that this party at every single level will look like the beautiful state of California. I'll be happy to be post-race and post-color when the world is post-white supremacy and post-racist. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, it's got to be about um, uh, not just representation, but also like really putting our, uh, our, our resources and our shoe leather where our mouth is um, and confronting the structures that, that, um, that uphold white supremacy in this, in this country and in this state. So we do that and we whip racism, then we can talk about um, you know, being post-color. Yeah.